So we are buying a truck for Alexis to be her first vehicle and gonna make her fix it herself. Say hey, Rowdy. Say happy birthday, Alexis. Yay. I'm giving you a project. <laughs> Let's get this thing loaded on the trailer. He goes, yeah, high five. Yeah. Yeah. Rowdy's trying to claim this thing. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> high five. So we just got the truck home and the transmission lines are broken. So I'm going to loop those together so that the truck will move. And we are going to go hide this at grandma's house. Well, I wanted the front end. You're supposed to be spotting. Oh God, oh God. I thought he was about to ram right onto the trailer. That'll fall out. Yeah, right. All wheel drive, baby. Is it? Yeah. Well, this ought to be interesting. It ain't gonna do that. Look at the leaves. Now you can't see. Oh God. It won't what? Not hard at all. We want. Yours? Nobody <laughs> slipped on it. No, that about took my kneecap out a ago. <laughs> She's out there working on it. All by herself. If we asked her to, it's like 45 degrees outside. Getting after it. You know you're videoing, right? One hour. Yeah, you've been videoing for one hour. Uh, Not time lapse either. We should take it off and put it back on because I wasn't recording. I just called. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Alexis is drilling holes in the bottom of the core support for the airbag sensors. This older style core support didn't have airbag sensors on both sides that had one in the middle and then we are going to use this nussert gun in the bottom of the core support as soon as she's done drilling out these holes so Junkyard. This, this wasn't on this truck before, and it's all rusty. And this truck don't have no rust on it. So. Scrap pile. No, it ain't. Huh? It's not going to the scrap pile. Why not? What one are we gonna put on there? Woman, the roll can.
that we can't have a truck this body style without a dang roll pan on it. Oh, look what I did to the hole right there. What's up? Look what I did to the hole. What hole? The hole that was right there. Oh, you blew a bigger hole. <laughs> you have to weld that in. So any of these little tiny pinholes, uh -huh. that's all got to be completely sealed so that as you're driving through the rain, it doesn't get moisture up underneath your paint. So, um... You can grind all this down and then any pinholes that you find come through and tack weld all those pinholes. Okay. So, but nice job. And what's even better is it's pretty damn straight. Good job. Well, Alexis has all the body work done on the back and the roll pan. <laughs> she just got done stripping the front end. She's touching up a few more spots. We got all the body work done because the hood was all, paint was all coming off and whatnot. And there was a bunch of little dings. So I'm about to snatch the wheels off. And yeah, we're going to get this thing in primer today. What you think? <laughs> She's... So much enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> All right. My dogs are out. <laughs> All right, what you got going on, Alexis? My mess off of your truck. So I sprayed some primer where the body molding pulled the paint off after you feathered it out. But we got the truck that's sitting on a jack in the front and sitting on some tires in the rear because all my jack stands are are held up with the mud truck. We are about to spray this thing finally. Everything but the roof and the tailgate, but we're probably going to do the tailgate here in the near future. We might do a candy candy logo on the back of it. So are you going to paint it? Yeah. All right. So I'll get the hood since you can't reach the middle of the hood. Turned out pretty good. A little bit of trash in it, but nothing Alexis can't buff out. That looks really good. Especially since when I had you weld those frame horns on to where we could convert it to this style bumper, we jacked up the bumper, what, three quarters of an inch to close up that gap between the bumper and the hood and the grill. Man, that front end is sweet. I'm glad we didn't paint the grill. It looks good. The silver lights with the chrome grill. And it matches the rims really nice with that billet GMC in the grill. I straightened that thing out from the old grill where it got smashed. I'm jealous. 
Well, congratulations. You put together a truck. It drives down the road safely. And it smells like it's burning. It does smell like it's burning. And we don't have a fire extinguisher. So At a gas station. WB. Right through that window is a fire extinguisher. Yeah. Well, we're test driving it and it's turning out, it's driving pretty good. So, and successful I, day. I scraped the road. I went over a bump. That was it bottoming out in the sea notch. We might need to put a bigger sea notch in it.